Well, it's an annual report that we do, we've been doing for over 20 years to study not just the uninsured rate in Tennessee, but also how satisfied people are with the 10 care system. The first step is to um, do a 5,000 household survey, mostly by telephone, though we have expanded the methodology to include some web-based respondents as well as technologies have changed. So it's both landline, cell phones, and web-based calling. And we reach out to different um, households in different age groups as well as income groups. And Swarps on campus actually does the telephoning with us and provides us with the results of their telephone survey. The overall rate of uninsured has, has increased slightly from about 6.7% of Tennesseans to 6.9%. The most affected group were children. I, mean, I think they had a half a percentage point increase. But other trends that are really consistent are um, just really high levels of satisfaction with the 10 care system. People seem to be able to obtain the medical care that they need, whether it's a specialist or a generalist. They can get quick appointments. They can get in with their doctor in a fairly quick manner. Um, and so the satisfaction's been over 90% now for 11 years in a row. Well, the number one thing cited is affordability, and it really hits people harder in the lower income um, parts of our population. So they may not have low income in the, in, on the standards to be able to obtain insurance from, from TenCare, but they're not able then to go out and get insurance that's affordable for them and their families. So that would probably be the number one. Um, some people, you know, are just healthy and don't think they need it, so they don't get coverage. Um, but I would say that probably cost is the, the biggest barrier. There was a recent um, study done by Census, and they find very similar patterns to what we find with respect to the uninsured rate. The, the changes, as well as the, the levels and the changes, are very consistent. While the study doesn't look at this directly, it kind of coincides with some policy changes with the Affordable Care Act. The enrollment periods are shorter, the, um, the advertising budget has been significantly cut, and I think just a lot of confusion by the public as to whether they might even apply for 10 care. They don't even know if they might qualify.